elites were right about Donald Trump, right? I'm a never Trump guy. Has Trump seen this? President Trump uh, tweeting a surprise endorsement of Mitt Romney. For his How'd that turn out? Look, I love Trump, but he's getting it wrong with J.D. Vance, too. I might have to vote for Hillary Clinton. People who voted for Trump voted for him for racist reasons. Where does he get off saying that? We've got our own eyes and our own ears. J.D. Vance is a fraud. Club for Growth Action is responsible for the content of this ad. Well, damn. Club for Growth uh, released that ad with... I mean, I don't know if they're real constituents, they could be actors, but either way it goes, those are regular people. They're very upset about J.D. Vance and his past comments about Donald Trump. This all comes because Donald Trump endorsed J.D. Vance regardless and despite all of those past statements about how much he is brought on racism and how he's trying to stick, poke a needle in the eye of his political opponents. Things that are very disparaging about the president, the former president. And now he's been endorsed by him because he's groveled back on his knees. Great how that worked, but Club for Growth is not taking it because they were a Mandel folks. Let's check this out. So Club for Growth has endorsed Mandel in Ohio in the Senate race. And there's been tension between them and Trump for months as the PAC blasted Vance over his past negative commentary about the ex-president. Trump endorsed Vance regardless of his past remarks. So the PAC aired a new ad on Cleveland CBS affiliate and that ripped the endorsement as you saw there. Trump's endorsement of Vance has been a source of contention among Republicans who've argued about whether it was a mistake. New York Times journalist Maggie Haberman has reported that Trump expected Club for Growth to fall in line after his Vance endorsement, but they kept on bashing Vance. So Trump had a text message sent to their president, whose name is David McIntosh, and it, that text told him to go F yourself. Stop there for a second. Donald Trump had a text message sent to a Club for Growth president, David McIntosh. How come you can't just send that text message? Just go F yourself, bro. But he has to have it sent by someone else. I'm not sure if that makes it more official or if he's detaching himself from actually saying that. So later you can say, I don't recall sending that text message. I just recall telling someone to send that text message. Either way, there was just a small part that I decided to point out there because it's a bit cowardly. If you're gonna tell someone to go F themselves, at least tell them. Uh, continue on, McIntosh wasn't very happy about that response that was sent through uh, some Middleman. So um, this is what Alice, uh, Natalie Allison tweeted out of what he then said in response. We're increasing our ad buy for Josh Mandel, Club for Girls spokesperson said in response to request for comment on Trump assistant uh, telling David McIntosh to go F himself. Um, so that's where these new ads have come from. And uh, this Club for Growth uh, issue is just the latest player in this. I think it was Laura Ingram. Uh, there was other pundits that were quietly or loudly also saying, hey, this endorsement of J.D. Vance is a mistake. Do you know what J.D. Vance said about Donald Trump back in the day? Donald Trump acknowledged it, J.D. Vance acknowledged it. And actually told, I think also Laura Ingram on Fox News a little while ago, hey, I was wrong. All I can say is, is I, I see a position and I see a possibility for me to gain power, maybe some wealth, game the system like these other politicians. I'm all in, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. And I think the main reason this happened, and this was actually not even me thinking it. Donald Trump's endorsement process was based on how weird sexual proclivities that a, 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 a Josh Mandel has. And how he's just not really a very cool, uh, come across a relatable person. All those things were the reasons why he endorsed JD over Josh Mandel. And now the infighting continues. There's more about this because um, uh, remember they were mad about Dr. Oz. And all the things that, he, that uh, how that endorsement went through as well. They're not happy about these things that he's doing. And it's still hard to say, hey, Donald Trump is wrong. Even that ad there, all those people that are supposed to be constituents, they're just, I assume, actors playing the role. They can't get real people. They can't get uh, maybe Josh Mandel to be on an ad and be like, that was a mistake. No, because it looks too bad. And you can't actually directly fight with Donald Trump because they're still super, super afraid of him. No, nobody in this party likes Donald Trump, they never have. So the J.D. Vance lines that they're talking about were the same lines that McCarthy said, that Mark Rubio said, that Chris Christie said, that a Jeb Bush said, um, Ted Cruz said. Everybody that's gone back to grovel on their knees to Donald Trump has said the same types of things that J.D. Vance has said. It's just Donald Trump has chosen which one of these he's gonna accept and which one of these he's gonna not accept. And they've all dropped to their knees and said, please take me back. I didn't know that the American people were this rabidly racist when it comes out in the open. I thought we had to hide it like we've been doing for the past several decades. 
No, you can do it out in the open now. Donald Trump has allowed for that. And um, in fact, the quicker that you do it, the more you get into his good graces and the more that you get with uh, their base. Marjorie Taylor Greene said it the other day when she was talking to Matt Gates. They care about what we say, they're our base. That's why they're pushing this. And that's why people who hate her, like Dan Crenshaw openly said, Marjorie Taylor Greene's a problem. Karl Rove said, Marjorie Taylor Greene's a problem. Matt Gates, those type of folks are problems within our party. They can't say it more than that because they're gonna be buried within that party. Again, must be a very comfortable place to be a politician. Must be a great place for you once you're elected to be able to do what you said you're gonna do for the American people. Or you're gonna have to kowtow and do whatever Donald Trump tells you to do. There's that, excellent. So we've gone from the horrific nature of our country to then the horrific nature of the Republican Party, which apparently is planning to win in the midterms and continue to run our country into the ground.